welcome back to my channel and I'm here again again my name is Ariel and um, I am here to share more of the things that more connected to being and okay so, um, yeah let's jump right away to the question uh, what is an au pair so a lot of people um, especially in my um, at work or with my friends with my new friends uh, with some of my relatives uh, are quite confused what is really being an au pair so let me um, tell you the gist of it or you know like the main point of being an au pair right here so without further ado let me start so um, an au pair is not a job so again it is not a job right here it is obviously um, as I told you many times it's a cultural exchange and um, when we say cultural exchange it's not just about studying abroad no not just like that so an au pair is not just about studying too so it's like a mix of both so it might get confuse you but it's again it's not a job and it's not just about studying right here but you will be dealing um, with kids right here or your main task is to be like a supervisor or should I say a guardian to the children of your host family so it doesn't mean that you will be a guardian you will be with them 24 7 no because being an au pair right here um, you only need to finish your task um, with your host families or with your host kids for 30 hours or less per week so it cannot exceed okay because you do have a contract and the contract says right there being an au pair is yeah again it would only maximum take 30 hours per week right here and so Aside from you um, doing that task, again as an au pair, you will also be given a chance to study. So to study, um, it would depend on you on what course would you like to take or what your host family would like you know, to offer to you. So as for me, you may already know, because I already shared before, that I took the swimming class because even though I live in the Philippines, which has a lot of islands and beaches right here, but that's the thing that I didn't mind at all to study. So yeah, when I was in the Netherlands, so I studied that one. So why not? Just uh, for me to, you know, have a, a, an additional skill. So right now that I'm back in the Philippines so I'm very proud of myself I have a certificate that I already know how to swim and I'll be able to you know use it when me and my friends would go out and I will not be left behind on the shore so yeah I yeah going back so I took um, swimming class and some of my friends actually took some language courses and some cooking classes it depends on you again so you would uh, be asked what would you like to take right there by your host family and aside from you know um, going to a class right here of course you'll be able to learn the culture of the country or of the host family that you are with so as you can imagine it's really fun based on my experience it was fun and um, I enjoyed it so <clears throat> I hope that excuse me I hope that um, those who are now in a pair currently wherever you are around the world I hope that you're enjoying it and um, yeah just you know take the time to appreciate wherever you are in this world right here and just you know focus also on the things the new things around you because that is actually a very good opportunity that is like you know given to us like right here um, which 
actually, yeah, I, I can say this is really a nice program. Like au pair, from the word au pair right there, you should be like single um, woman. Like you should have no kids. So that's what I read. But actually some agencies, um, I believe, are, or some host families are, even though that you do have um, a child, as long as you were like status right there is single, then they actually accept it. And actually I also know that there are some male, um, like uh, au pair, especially uh, in Norway, I believe, because um, I actually, when I went to uh, take my um, I forgot what I did I took but um, he is with us and like type of orientation right here going to before going to the place or to other countries so yeah he was actually um, he is a boy and um, he is an au pair so I was actually very shocked that one because I never thought that uh, a male could also be or could also apply for an au pair um, cultural exchange so that's really great so I hope that um, there are more uh, family who would also accept uh, male candidates right here because I know a lot of people or a lot of male um, teenagers right there are also uh, very willing to be um, an au pair and to work with a host family right here or to be part of a host family so there and um, also being an au pair only takes uh, usually the shortest or the shortest one or the, sh the shortest contract of an au pair is actually only for a year yes that's only for a year and the longest one is for two years so the countries that i know that are for two years i believe is um in norway in sweden i believe is it i'm not pretty sure y'all in norway but i'm sure in norway and denmark um you could stay there for two years as an au pair but for netherlands right here it's only for one year and yeah that's where i went to when i was an au pair so there um i hope that clears up your mind right there and um and uh, with regards by the way for uh since i told you that this is not a job so instead of you're getting a salary you'll only be getting an allowance and that allowance actually would run on depends of the country that you're into so search about it because it's actually publicly on google right here if you know how much um a family would give as an allowance right here okay so i guess that's it for me and i hope that i clear um your confusion about um a new pair right here and wishing you well and good luck <laughs>